Receive warm greetings from this end, fellow VIP winners, and welcome to the 42nd edition of the VIP News. Coming up on today's newscast, these VIP winners, Namu Maureen, Yunet Chanui, and Rudy B, are members of a team that won the second prize for the Startup Pitch Contest at the just ended Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya. The just concluded Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya, southwest region of Cameroon, proved to be a resounding success with the main host, Jungle Hop, setting the bar high in terms of organization. In the first episode of our exclusive segment on Board VIP News called Inside Silicon Mountain, we had the privilege of interviewing Bean Job who shared insights about his remarkable tech foundation named Tick Foundation. You'll be discovering more in today's newscast. Stay tuned. At the central microphone for presentation, I am Betrain Shintum Tumyoi, the news in full. These VIP winners, Nambu Morin, Yunyek Chanui, and Rudy B., are members of a team that won the second prize for Startup Pitch Contest at the just ended Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya. The VIP Winners community was also present to show their support. Nambu Morin posted on Facebook about the win, saying, 600,000 cash prize. There is celebration in the air. The late night preparation indeed paid off. Landlords are protect startup. Won second place at the Silicon Mountain Startup Pitch Contest. It is notable that the Pitch Contest had more than a dozen startups competing with first spot winning 1 million francs, 600,000 for second prize, and 400,000 third prize. Apart from the Pitch Contest, other competitions equally witnessed the participation of members of the VIP winners community, although the Zins win, but their works were appreciated by all. Still in line with the Silicon Mountain Conference, where they just concluded Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya, Southwest region of Cameroon proved to be a resounding success. With the main host, Jungle Hop, setting the bar high in terms of organization. According to several observers, Jungle Hop has truly raised the bar for future events. The founder of Jungle Hop, Gabriel Achu Are, in partnership with his co-founder, John Eta, mobilized a team of skilled professionals who work tirelessly to ensure a seamless experience for all attendees. The conference generates significant media coverage, being mentioned in over 17 million posts and received overwhelmingly positive reviews. The prize money for various contests was increased thanks to sponsors like Orange Cameroon and United Nations Development Program UNDP, providing participants with even more motivation to showcase their skills. Chantal Max, a member of the media department, Offered her assessment rating the conference positively. Percentage? 85. How many percent? 85. <laughs> Mysterious success. Yes, it's, of course it's a success and we are happy. Why the team it takes a village to raise champions? It starts from communities. It starts from Boya. Boya is a village. It starts from the little people that you minimize. We have so many great people that came from so many little homes and all the likes. Boya is a village. The mountain here, it's, it's a village. It's part of the Bakuri culture. So it takes a village to raise champions and that's why we call it Silicon's Mountain because it's from the topography of the Boya, the mountain, the population, the students. So it's a village and we are using this village of Boya Southwest to raise champions. The event concluded on a high note at Mountain Hotel in Boya on Saturday, November 18. Away from that, in our new slot, in the first episode of our exclusive segment on board VIP news called Inside Silicon Mountain, 
we had the privilege of interviewing Bean Joe, who shared insights about his remarkable tech foundation named Tick Foundation. Discover how this foundation is actively addressing the challenges faced by his community and successfully bridging the gap. A conversation with him took place during the recently concluded Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya. Please, can you tell us more about Tick Foundation? What is it all about? Yeah, so Tick Foundation is uh, a tech hub. The main aim of this hub is to inspire and empower the next generation of tech entrepreneurs. We do this through tech hackathons. We do this through innovation challenges. We do this through accelerator and incubation programs. So who are your main targets? You target children, youth, elderly? Who are your targets? Yeah, so for the Tech Innovation Challenge, which is the Tech Summit, we target secondary school students between the ages of uh, 8 up to 21. And uh, for the TIG Bootcamp, we target generally youth. And then for the accelerator programs, we target people as from 16 right up to the ages of 35, 40. So why did you decide to target or contribute to the tech ecosystem through a foundation like the TIG Foundation you're talking about? Yeah, the main aim was uh, stemming from the fact that when I was in secondary school, I always had these ideas and this passion for technology, for innovation, but I lacked a necessary ecosystem or platform to be able to realize my ideas. Uh, when I went on to the university, I also discovered that this challenge was still persisting. Sometimes the curriculum is too tight and does not provide enough space for creative and innovative minds to flourish. So I said to myself, why not come up with um, a structure that is going to support entrepreneurs, that is going to support uh, youth, that is going to support startups with the necessary resources that they need in order to realize their idea. And that is where we came out with the TIC Foundation, which has as major aim to support youth with innovation, to support youth with creativity, to empower them to be entrepreneurs and to be tech leaders. And today we are at the fifth edition of the Silicon Mountain Conference. You have uh, gone through the various stands, you have listened to talks. What particularly caught your attention? Yeah, the Silicon Mountain has been an amazing time. Um, I loved the discussion that most of the speakers had to share about the future of tech to talk about the importance of uh, innovation and creativity and uh, youth entrepreneurship in this age to also um, watch the innovations of some of these young minds it's been mind-blowing to see what very young youth could do with uh, their creativity from artificial intelligence driven solution to virtual reality it's been really amazing here at the, the Silicon Mountain Conference in Boya. You as an actor in the tech ecosystem in Cameroon, where do you see the future of the tech industry in Cameroon in the next five years? I see it um, very flourishing if a lot of pillars are put into place, a lot of pillars in terms of access to investment and uh, the, some of the barriers that are limiting youth from launching and entering the market are removed, the tech ecosystem in Cameroon is going to be definitely thriving. So it's a, it's, a, it's a growing economy, it's a growing ecosystem, it's a growing market, but there's need for a lot of support systems, especially in terms of investment and finance, in terms of access to market, and in terms of uh, more capacity building programs that can permit startups and can permit uh, these their enterprises grow and flourish. Fellow VIP winners, it is with that slot inside Silicon Mountain that we conclude today's edition of VIP News. I received technical assistance from Jingani Josh at the Central Microphone for presentation this day. I am betraying Shane Tum Tumyoy. Good morning.